Good evening and welcome back. This week we're playing Las Palmas at home. If you managed to watch the last video, we had a massive win against Levante in the Copa del Rey. 6-0 with our debutante Mudrik scoring a hat-trick. Absolutely brilliant. Let's see who's going to start in the match today. Bit of squad rotation today. We brought in Arcas to play in attack midfield in place of Fabio Vieira. We've actually pushed Carlos Perez up front and brought in Bruger on the right hand side. And uh, we're going to give Xerxes a little bit of a rest. A little bit worrying that our new sign Cosinu is on a bit of a downer. And yeah, his actual energy is a tiny bit down. We haven't really got another centre back to play there. I mean, we could play one of the wing backs. We have brought in Cofield in base of Safet. Again, just for a bit of a rest. Going to really need to boost this squad up a little bit, even with youth players, I think, as soon as we can. Yeah, so I think just a little bit of a worry about our squad depth, which we knew when we sold quite a few players. But we did need to do that to decrease the salary budget that we had on the books. A hat trick here Mudrik from the last match. But we do need to get a goalkeeper centre back for sure. Um, and I think we'll be okay with that. But it's looking like that's going to have to be youth team players. And we haven't even got the funds to do that at the moment. Ooh, offside. Fired into him. Yeah. But we have played Carlos Perez up front before. And he did a really, really good job. I even thought about playing Orcas up there because he's done that before. But I still think he's more suited a little bit deeper. And giving Vieira a rest is not a bad thing as well. Ah, Bichette. Trying to take on the defender. I was going to sort of cut past him at the last second. It didn't quite work. That's a foul. Don't need to see a replay of that. Good thing is the plays that we do have are quite versatile. Um, but yeah, just going to get there. He does. And there it is. It's 1-0. And who is it? Of course it's Mudrick. Wow. Start where he left off last time. Great work from Bajer though. He had the... Show a little bit of strength here. Nice ball across. And Mudrik with the tap in. He is looking like a bargain. And like I said when we actually bought him, this is not the Mudrik or as of 2023. This is Mudrik from Pez 2021 where his stats were, were anywhere near as high. His value wasn't anywhere near as high because of that as well. So we're buying the Mudrik from a couple of years ago. In the option file that I got, some players were edited. Uh, Mudrik was not one of them. His um, Even visually, he looked nothing like Mudrik. So I had to change that around. But he's just yeah, he's just doing the job, isn't he? He's, he's got a lot of pace on him. His other stats, like attacking-wise, aren't... Fantastic, but he's been scoring for fun, and it, you know, not that would that was a tap in, but the three he scored in the last match were proper, proper curlers from you know 15 yards, 20 yards. So he's playing better than his stats, I would say, which does happen in pairs. Certain players just for some reason play seem seem to at least play better than their actual stats, which I love. You know, it's finding those hidden gems. Nicely kept there. And by the way, I'm not saying Mudrik's a hidden gem because he's very well known. But you can find those like Xerxes. I've never heard of him before. I'm pretty sure he's not one of those players that's on everyone's, uh, you know, lips talking about. Oh, Cass. Not a lot of space, but Caulfield on the overlap. 
Oh. Really nice effort. He was just stretching. Nice cross, though. Ah, probably should be hitting the target there. But again, we started well, and I think for us that's massive. If we don't tend to start too well, or at least as in we don't score, and we start to struggle after the sort of... I don't know if it's the pressure of not scoring or what, but probably after like the 30 minute mark and, and we're dominating and we haven't scored uh, sometimes it goes a little bit downhill but luckily the past well for many many matches we've uh, we have been getting that goal relatively early you know the first 20-30 minutes Well, I've had a shot. It was uh, absolutely nowhere near the goal. And here's our new signing, Kosinu. He hasn't had much to do in the past sort of game and a third. Nearly loses out there. Manages to win it back. Ooh, nearly lost it. It's a little bit scrappy now. No, but got a bit of space. The great thing when you have got that is you can just be that little bit more patient. Nicely out wide to Mudrik. Back to Texera. Arcas. Wasn't sure if Carlos Perez was going to be offside there if I try to get in. That was a bit of a punt. Yeah, but Kosinu looks very strong, quick. Could be a little bit better on the ball, but he will hopefully get that in time. Bajer, though, uh, straight at the keeper. Now Herrera, and it's blocked. That should be half time, and it is. 1-0, early goal. We haven't got the second yet, but we're playing well. And just for confirmation, 76% possession. Our possession normally is high, around about the 55-60% mark. I don't think I've seen it that high before. I see one by Herrera. Oh, a lovely ball through to Bajer. It just took a little bit too long to get to him in the end. Perez. Oh, it deflects wide. Nice play, though. But that initial ball through to Bajer was absolutely lovely. Now, who's going to take the corner this time? Yeah, we'll let Herrera take it. Nice leap by Caulfield. And again, their keeper is just putting it up the field with no chance of it uh, finding one of the players. I, you don't normally see the AI do that. Mudrick back to Perez. Mudrick again. And there it is, it's two. Wow. I knew he was a decent player when I bought him, but um, 
This is quite ridiculous now. It's five calls and two matches. Nice little one two with Perez. And I think Perez has played really well up top, which he has done before. And that just gives us a little bit of room to breathe now. Yes, we've been dominating possession, but I've said it before, when there's only that one goal in it, these AI have got a habit of, uh, they'll get one attack in the game and they'll score, or they'll get a free kick from 25 yards out and score, which has happened to us a couple of times this season. Lovely ball through Bajer again. Mudrig. Oh, it's the defender, then the post, then the defender again. Herrera. Oh, my word, that was dipping. Ah, that's a goal kick. Going to make some changes. So change-wise, we are going to bring off Mudrig, and we're also going to bring off Bajer, and we're going to bring on Castledean and Harrington on those wide areas. And we're just going to change the right backs out just to give him a little bit of rest because his energy is down, as is the other right back that we rested for this game. But we're just going to have to keep alternating them, I think. And I'm sure Mudrick will be disappointed not to be getting the chance to get another hat trick. That would have been back to back. But I've got to think about the next matches. Games are coming thick and fast. We're going to have the cup competition. Don't know when that is, but that'll be coming up maybe in a few weeks. Nicely played. Harrington. Oh, the outside of the post. Just continuing where Mudrick left off. Again, Perez with a nice ball. He's got a nice weight of pass. A little bit unlucky. Maybe could have took it on a couple of yards more. Nicely played. Not so nicely played. Obli wins it back. Ah, oh, try to play the pass. Maybe should have shot. Nice tackle from Herrera though. Ah, oh, it's overhead. And at this stage of the game, you know. Players haven't got as much energy in them. So chasing those type of balls is going to be difficult to start with. Could be in a bit of trouble here. Lovely tackle from Kavazovic. That could have been a dangerous situation, but he handled it well. Now Arkas. Oh, lovely ball. Defender did well in the end. Lovely tackle from Cossin here. That's why we bought him. And nicely played too. Perez. Ah, uh, deflects. It wasn't clean hit. Marcus, oh, deflected over. That was struck pretty sweetly. Comes back from um, Teixeira there. Lovely ball. Oh, how did he not score there? That ball from Teixeira was unbelievable. 
and he's just hit it straight at the keeper. Oh, oh, oh going for the overhead kick. I think that was Castledean both times with the uh, somehow the point blank, not miss, but straight at the keeper, and then with the overhead. Now that would have made up for the uh, the city we didn't score. Perez again played really well in this match. Ah, trying to be a little bit too cute there, but Arcus gets it back. Oh no, he doesn't. He did for a second, I think. Good tackle there. Nicely played. Ah, uh, how get you need to get the pass away quicker than that? Kovacevic, just another good tackle. He's putting a few of those today. Another good ball from Teixeira, and it just goes over. I think it deflects off the defender. He's looking to be a really promising right back. He's put some decent balls in. It's Tech Share again. What can he do? It's going to be the last chance. Carlos Perez. Oh, and it's just white. <laughs> Should have hit the target. It's 2-0 though. Mudrick again. And 69% possession. Nice. 140 passes to their 56 and their one shot was, uh, I think that was the one that was like sort of 20 yards to the right and over. No real surprise in the ratings. 7.5 for Mudrik, man of the match. I tell you what though, Kostanu getting a 5, that's uh, that's not good. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. He, he put some nice aerial challenges in, a couple of nice tackles. Don't know why he's got a 5, but brilliant match. And the matches are coming thick and fast now. We've got another match just three days after the last one away to Burgos. So hopefully you'll join me for that one. Another good match today. Mudrik, man of the match at two days running. You can't get a better start than that for a signing. Would really appreciate you leaving comments down below just to let me know what you think of the series so far. Any suggestions for potential transfers, any tips and tricks that you guys have got, especially about that salary budget. And if you did enjoy the video, think about leaving a like and subscribing. But I'll see you all next time, hopefully. Plenty more goals to come, I'm sure. See you then. Cheers.